done by Tommy Dill. If this carries on, I won't be able to just sit behind that desk anymore. Hey, Calm down. I've handled it. Dylan's banned from the building tonight. Chill. Sid, come on, we're on air. You need to get down to the desk. Here he is. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to UK Wrestling Mayhem. It's a warm Wednesday night here in Batley. And uh, yeah, he's, he's not here. I am that. Right? Come I on. nearly lost it up there. I know. No. I know he's getting to you. I know he's been a pain in everybody's backside, but he's not here. But right? if you let him one start, the rest start. I know, I know, I know. Right, it's Wednesday Night Mayhem. I am the voice of UKW, Brett Hadley, with the general manager of Wednesday Night, Sid Phoenix. Are you calm? I'm calm. We good? I'm ready. Right, let's do this. Straight into action tonight. Yeah? Sorted? Right, let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wednesday Night Mayhem. Your first contest is a singles match set for... Introducing first, he is the number one contender for the World Television Championship, Momentum! It feels good saying that, Sid, I tell you. And it's good to see him after what he enjoyed no, last week. Uh, this is um, what Johan Hunt will want to see. No. Johan Hunt last week, phantom stomping momentum into the steel steps. Not a sight any of us wanted to see at all. And it's great to see momentum back in action this week. And momentum's opponent. But he's going to have a tough task on his hands to try and figure out the conundrum that is Ian Creed. Touching tips at the desk. The changed man of the three. Oh, he really is. I wouldn't have dreamed of doing that a few months ago, but <laughs> hey ho, times change, people change, things happen. Well, it should be a competitive match. We've got a huge night here on UK Wrestling Mayhem. Thanks for joining us once again from the heart of West Yorkshire. Mindset, well, more men than being here. Well, this is it. He looked all energized when he came out here, but, but he, <laughs> he's gonna know that Johan Hunt is gonna witness this and yes. not be a happy man. And Johan Hunt is in the building because he is in tonight's main event on Mayhem, so he's gonna be mindful of that as well. Absolutely, the guy who phantom stomped him to pace first into those steel steps last week. I was gonna say. It was brutal. That's the word of the day for last week. It was brutal. Johan Hunt will be in action later on against the high flying live wire Brett Sedgwick in our main event a little bit later. This crowd wanting uh, momentum to touch tips with uh, Ian Creed. I don't think Mo's too, uh, too keen on doing that. See, we'll see Johan Hunt in tonight's main event. We'll also see the brand new Wednesday night around the clock champion Joe Sedgwick make his first title defence against the man who stole that opportunity from last week, J. Rowe Lewis. One on one tonight, Sid, for the ATC belt. Now, is he going to do it? I was going to say, is it J. Rowe's time? Should we say well, J. Rowe thought he was stolen from under his nose by Sedgwick last week. He gets his shot one on one a little bit later. This moment, I'm going to touch tips. Is he going to do it? I want it again. The referee's like, no, come on, get on with this. <laughs> oh, uh, maybe one more time? Maybe. There we go. Oh, this time though, Ian Creed kept holding the hand. <laughs> no. Uh, Ian Creed, the master of mind games. Oh. <laughs> Chop. <laughs> it rocked Ian Creed. Oh, up and over goes momentum. Oh. Momentum with a kick right to the back of the head of Ian Creed. Now, in his springs with a drop kick. That's beautiful. 
amazing agility by an amazing athlete in momentum who's got his date with destiny a week on Saturday so does he challenges Johan Hun for the World Television Championship at Showtaste of Champions Green misses Mo rolls through is this it Sid? No oh, it's not off there just a quick one just one oh Chop from Mo he rings his hand out afterwards. Ian Creed. Oh, he has TO'd him right into the turnbuckle, Sid. I gotta say, not enough to the canvas, it was to the bottom buckle no. there. Wow. Uh, and he knows he had his face stomped. Yes. He mentioned it in his he knows. steps. Yeah, it's, it's sort of scary because, yeah, <laughs> literally. He's, he's obviously watched us see Ian Creed and knows that it won't be 100%. No, there's it's no way. It's enough to be medical cleared, but not enough. No, there's no way. And again, shots. the head right to the turnbuckle. Ian Creed may look unorthodox, but he knows what he's doing. Oh, hard Irish whip into the other corner. On momentum. Ian Creed drags him to the middle of the ring to make the pin. Smart move by Creed, but only gets two out of it. Wow. Can momentum get back into this? Our opening contest on Mayhem. Ian Creed has other ideas here. He's got the ankle and make Oh! Ow! Ew! Mo can't do any of those kicks with a, a dodgy wheel like that. Again, Creed being very, very smart here. And Creed drags momentum back. Mo's trying to fight back here. Can't use his legs. He can use his arms though. Oh! Just trying to fight with anything he could there. Yes. Line by Creed nearly turned momentum inside out. Is this it? Has he got the hook for the leg? He has, and two and a half. Just two, says referee Danny tonight. Not enough to beat the number one contender for Johan's belt. And now Creed is almost unhinged there. It's, it's, it's like watching Ian Creed of old, shall I say. There's yeah, a bit of that viciousness oh, back here. I think he knows who he wants to beat somebody of calibre. A momentum. That's what he's got to do. He's got him up. Oh! And sits out with him, but can't make... Oh, you know what he usually does after this, Sid? And it's he... not where Mo wants to be. Oh, no. Oh, no, Mo is not... Oh, no. Now this crowd know what's coming. Oh! It's unorthodox, to say the least. And you know what he usually does after this as well. I shouldn't have looked up the screens then, yeah. but I did. <laughs> I guess we had the best yeah, view just seeing unfortunately, his great camera work, but ooh. The momentum has had enough of it. <laughs> Shrock kicks in Creed in the back. And now momentum starting to roll in the corner. Just for another. Oh, but Creed blocks the Irish whip attempt. Oh, I didn't block that. <laughs> no ringing bells. And now, is he going to... Oh, he's going to trap him in. He's got him. Sid, this could be it. He's got Ian Creed caught. And, oh, no. Oh, no. There's the music. Oh, here he is. Johan Hunt, the television champion. Right. His, Can yeah, why? keep his nose out of Momentum's business here? Oh, momentum is distracted. The man raised by freaking wolves is here. Oh! He was, he just got dispatched, but behind his ear, oh, he, has he, he nailed it. Momentum oh. is out, oh, not like this. Oh, no, Ian Creed took advantage of Johan Hun and gets the victory on Mayhem. Here is your winner, Ian Creed. Distraction of the television champion. We said it. Was Johan Hunt going to be happy seeing moment he here wasn't. tonight able to wrestle? Just finding another way to send a message to his opponent on the 24th of June when he defends his television championship for the first time on pay per view since winning it.
the momentum got totally distracted with the man who phantom stomped him last week I, I, into the steel he's steps. Got, he's got a huge beef through his area. That man stomped his head into yeah. steel steps. And now he's cost him another big victory tonight. The problem is, we said it before, how much can Marmon take? This is an injury he needed to not well, yeah. feel again. He's only had seven, less than seven days to recover from that, and now he's just got his increased need right in his head. That's what I mean, you can see him holding it. Yeah, he's struggling. It's, it's already not 100%. It's not 100% at all. Let's say it was at 90, it was maybe down to I know, 70 man. now. I know, I know. Again. Again, man. Johan better watch his back. Wow, you heard oh. that right into my microphone. Johan Hun better have a. Well, when he, when he, he, his head. Week, he stomped him into the metal steps. He was, yeah. he was not there for minutes, should we no. say? He was unconscious. You were down there, weren't you? It, it was so a horrible he scene. Realize, Momentum is still standing after yeah. that. Yes, he's cost him the match here and, tonight. But that was a look. I looked into Momentum's eyes then, and he was. That was a look of venom in his eyes. If I was Johan Hunt later on, I'd be watching my back. Johan Hunt will be in our main event later on, so as he takes on the high flying live wire Brett Cedric tonight. And yeah, I I want to hurt my eyes in the back of my head if I'm Johan Hunt after that. And I was going to say you can't just be coming <laughs> out here costing people no. matches and, and expect not nothing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> It's like you just wound him up even more. If yeah. what he did last week to him wasn't enough, now he's cost him a match again. He's now attacking him next week, and it's like, just leave him alone. Yes, he's yeah. your number one contender. But do you really want to rile him up like this? <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that. As Johan Hunt prepares for Showcase of Champions, it is next Saturday night, our next big pay per view. Uh, we know the Hardcore Championship will be on the line Tommy Dillon is not here tonight he will defend that Hardcore Championship at Showcase of Champions against Bishop I can say one I'm, on one. I'm only trying to make a statement on this yeah say, he picked on the wrong person back. there he did backfire somewhat <laughs> didn't it you also know the Heavyweight Championship will be on the line Jonathan Cedric will defend against one of the firing squad but we don't know which well he said whichever one is not in the tag yes. match will be his opponent yeah we saw the return of Mustafa Khan. If you check the replay of last Friday night showdown, it was happening right here in the UKW Arena. There will be more action than new around the clock champion Joe Sedgwick's here right after this. Stay right where you are. It is a very warm Wednesday night in Batley. We are here for UK Wrestling Mayhem. It's Brett Hadley and Sid Phoenix. And last week we saw the around the clock championship change hands, Sid. Have you seen that triple threat come? J Row got put in by you. He wanted an opportunity. You gave it him. It was Joe Cedric and Brent Newman and Jay Ray Lewis, and in the end, we have a brand new around the clock champion, but he's going to defend against the guy who feels his opportunity was taken again. What not better way to defend it against the guy that thinks yep. it should have been his? Well, uh, Jay Ray has his chance, down. and he has it right now. Your next contest on Mayhem is set for 1 4 and is for the Wednesday Night Mayhem Around the Clock Championship. Introducing the challenger. He is J Rowe Lewis. He said thank you to you, Sid, for giving him this opportunity. Oh, come on, it, it's only fair. He yeah. had the match won and Joe Cedric threw oh, him out. Yeah, he had the match won with that running knee and then Cedric threw him out, took the ultimate opportunity and took the Around the Clock Championship home with him last Wednesday night. Can he do it tonight though? That's the question. Not if j has anything to do with it. And introducing the champion. Well, this one, we're talking about people who change and who've had rejuvenations in attitude and character. I don't think there's anybody more than the guy who's about to walk out here. He is the reigning and defending Wednesday Night Bay head around the clock champion, the prodigy Joe for me to almost say finishing <laughs> oh my god j -Row flies out wasting no time and we must press j -Row has 10 minutes 
to win that title and he knows it, Sid. I'm going to say the time, time limit is in this match, 10 minutes on. There we go, the clock has started, I mean, they couldn't get the clock started quick enough. j had other ideas and, oh my God, and Joe realises he's been hit with a tornado here. I say, he's realised this Absolutely. Game could end quick here. We know how fast these matches oh. start. We've seen them week after week now. Yeah. We've seen it get quicker oh. and quicker. Exactly. The rules are that you've got 10 minutes to either win or survive. And j right out of the box. He looked hard. Well, he looked excited and pumped up when he came out here. But now we know why. j dropped a big clothesline by Cedric. Who does not want to only have 168 hours as the Around the Clock champion. That's one week, by the way. Jira here seems to have a problem with the hand, wrist, or shoulder. I'm not sure. Oh, Cedric with a kicking kick. it there. Yeah, right to the arm. And now, oh, Cedric sent outside. It's more Jira. Look at Jira, he's holding it's it. He's favouring it. Something has yeah. happened. Did that dive to the outside where he risked it all? Actually hurt him here. Maybe. Now he's got. Oh, and Cedric right to that arm. He almost baited him in there. He's like, come on, man. No, I knew what he was doing. And now Cedric picks up J Ro and he's making him think about it. Shows him off to everybody in the UK W Arena before dropping him down with that delayed suplex. Doesn't hook the leg and only gets two out of J Ro. J Ro, a former tag team champion, a former television champion, a former world heavyweight champion here in UKW. Would love to be the around the clock champion. Oh! It's one of the titles he hasn't won, and he's not going to win it if he keeps on getting whipped into the buckle like that. Yeah, it's like you said, all Joe needs to do is either win or survive. Yeah, he's here. got just if over he, eight minutes if to he do he wants, it. He can win all the time in this match. If he can stay on top, yes, exactly. he doesn't have just to about worry to say, about yeah. pinning. He, or doesn't, pinning. he could just wear J Ro down, he could throw him out, he could do whatever he wants. He's just got to survive another eight minutes to keep. That shiny around the clock championship that he won last week. And Joe again, look, he's not. He it's a different have to joke. Do it. Yeah. It's a different joke. Normally, we used to see Joe attack He'd someone when sure, they were yeah. hurt. He would be he's on actually, it. He yes, knows. He's, he's targeting this match when he should, but he's not chasing him, going no, after him. Because he knows he doesn't have to. Big body slam by Cedric, who's now slowed this down, like you said. He's methodically just waiting. Yeah, it doesn't matter. If Jero gets counted out, this thing's what, over. That, was that Joe showing some compassion yeah. there? Saying, Whoa. it's his arm. Yeah. It's his arm. That's, that's a new side that we're not used to here. No, but I mean, we questioned for weeks whether it was legitimate, whether he really turned... I think he really has turned the corner. Just to be worried about who you're against then, yeah. actually. Say it turned into us. That's not the arm. Joe Cedric we saw a few months ago. part of the medical team he's trying yeah. to say. Oh, hang on a minute, arm. though. Oh, no, go! It's not going to do the arm any favours, but it's going to do Joe Cedric's chances some favours as he hooks the leg. j still in this match for the Around the Clock Championship, just under seven minutes left. If j wants any chance of walking out of Batley tonight, or stumbling out of Batley even with that Around the Clock Championship. Cedric again with j over his shoulder, shoulder breaker. Nice. And you hear him say, stay down to j Row. j Row doesn't take any notice. Kind of j Row knows this is, a, this is his opportunity. Yeah, he feels he had the opportunity stolen from under his nose last week. Maybe he did. Cedric just capitalised on the opportunity. You can't blame him for that. But now it's one-on-one. -on -one. No interference, no triple threats, no third person. Just j Row and Joe in the ring, one-on-one. -on -one. And again, picks him up. Carries him around. Is he going to throw him out? He is. All the way slammed by Cedric. Cedric's popping out some new moves here, Sid. Packers. Isn't it? He's making sure people can't read his game plans, read yeah. what he's going to oh, do. What's he doing here? He's got... Wow, he's got him trapped. Like an arm. Has he got an arm bar on him? He has. Yeah. Jero, he's got to be careful here. That arm's been worked on. Cedric has got a very smart strategy, a very sound strategy. Just under six minutes... Jero trying to fight his way back into this with his other arm. Rolls Cedric Roll up quickly. Oh, no, it's not. One like a drop kick to the knee of Joe Cedric, the champion here. Up and over goes Jero. Down. Agility by Jero Lewis. Has he got it? Only gets two. Not enough to prize that championship from the hands of the prodigy. Here on Mayhem, just over five minutes left for uh, oh, Jero. Oh, that knee, but Cedric catches him. 
And now, maybe... Oh, no! Look at this quick. We talked about the quickness oh, yeah. earlier, Sid. Cedric now picks him up. x Facts maybe... Oh, no! Oh. Stunned on Millionaire! He just he stunned him! Out of nowhere! Out of nowhere. He got the knee! This is it! Jero Lewis can barely get the cover though, he calls over and Cedric oh. just kicks out in the nick of time! Oh, no. oh. Not being able probably to tuck that cover if and he'd have got, Yeah, if he'd have got over and hooked the leg, surely it would have been over then. We'll never know, Sid. And listen to this crowd with dueling chants. Was that Jero's best shot, Sid? Well, through, as you say, through 80-90% of his chance there, should we yeah. say. He knows he's, everything yet. I know he has a bit more in the tank. Well, have to, he's got to have to find something in the tank if he wants to beat. Joe Cedric is struggling to get him up, gets him up to the top rope here. We've got just over four minutes left on the clock for j to survive and, uh, well, to actually pin or submit Joe. It's Joe that's got to survive the four minutes. Oh, Cedric! <laughs> oh my god! Where'd he pull that from, Sid? Oh, you know what? Oh, he's got Jero up and down! Oh, he turned him inside out, and this thing is over! Wow! Here is your winner, and still! UK Wrestling Wednesday Night Mayhem around the top champion, the Prodigy! Jero's opportunity flashed before his eyes, and in the end, the prodigy has a successful first defense of that around the clock championship on Wednesday Night Mayhem. I was gonna say, he's Joe Sedgwick going into Showcase of Champion as the Mayhem around the clock champion. It looks here. that way as he's only got. A week and a half to do it. J-Ro gave him a thumbs up there at the bottom of the ramp. J-Ro knows who he was in the ring with tonight. J-Ro. Magnanimous in defeat that Cedric rolls on our next pay-per-view, like you said, 10 days away. Showcase oh, of... Ch- oh, Evan Knight's out here. Oh, just right, listen it. I'm sick of this. I've been waiting for the rematch since the first episode of May. See, you saw John blatantly use the ropes. How is that fair? And you seem to be a man of giving opportunities. So go on, Sid. Why don't you give me an opportunity instead of all these people that don't deserve them? Do you like Jay or oh, I mean, Joe did use the ropes in that first match to win it. I ain't no pushover, Evan Knight. Just because you come out here and talk the talk doesn't mean you just get a shot like that. You are talented, but that attitude stinks. Joe, Joe, Joe. Just remember, it's mayhem, and I'm the general manager, not you. So I make the matches on my time. So guess what? Make you both happy. Showcase of Champions, rematch time, and it's for the Mayhem Around the Clock Championship. There we go, it's on a week on Saturday. Evan Knight, the undeniable attraction of Wednesday nights, gets his shot against Joe Sedgwick, and this time the Around the Clock Championship is on the line, Sid Phoenix. Why, why are they all so <laughs> me, me, me? Everybody is out for themselves. <laughs> But that is going to be a show stealer. A week from Saturday, I'm already excited. Well, hopefully, that stops them all having a mid well, nitty gritty. Evan Knight gets his chance one more time with that man, the prodigy Joe Sedgwick, for the Around the Clock Championship. That's going to be good. Two of the hungriest young men I've ever met in my life inside a wrestling ring next Saturday night, Sid, for the Around the Clock Championship. Fair decision. More Wednesday Night Mayhem on the way right after this. Stay right where you are, people. It is Wednesday Night Mayhem. It is on Sid Phoenix a week on Saturday after that. Joe Cedric and Evan Knight for the Around the Clock Championship. So what I've done, I've guaranteed Joe Cedric to be the champion going into Showcase of Champions. Yes, I apologise, Mayhem roster. (laughs) It was the only way to dissolve that. There was no other way, really. (laughs) The obvious solution and the, the only fair solution to both men is there. Earlier on today, our colleague Dylan Chase caught up with 
uh, Case O'Reilly and Brett Sedgwick, the new team, level up. Let's see what he had to say downstairs to them earlier today. I'm William Chase, and I'm here with Brett Sedgwick and Case O'Reilly, the hottest new tag team in UK wrestling. Level up. Guys, what does that mean? Well, ever since the Fire Squad have won their tag belts, they've tried the tag division with the bill. They've had their tag division here. Me and Casey are looking to level up the tag division back up here to the top since the relevant year. And not only are we going to take the tag team championships tonight, you've got a big match against your home TV champion. And you know what? He's going to win. Aren't you? You're going to smash out the park. Here in Africa, you've got Evan Knight as well. I do. A guy who I know very well. Back up for we're going to go out in there and we're going to get two wins tonight. Let's do it. Very confident. Level up there, Sid. I was going to say, there confident. you have it. They're a confident team and confident in singles action. We will we see the high flying live wire Brett Sedgwick in our main event. But now it's that match that was just alluded to right then. And the man we just saw before the break now gets his chance to prove himself once again here on Wednesday Night Mayhem. Your following contest is a singles match set for one fall. <laughs> Introducing first. the brush of him comes out and says I'm the new yeah, ATC he's, sig yeah. he's signalled to Sid nah. I'm going to be the champion he gets his chance a week on Saturday tonight no gold on the line but a point to prove and his opponent <laughs> this man making one for one for the team of level up tonight we're about to find out Grappling voice out for that one. This guy, full of energy. You saw them both there on the stage. They both know what they've got opportunity-wise to show against the champions. Thanks to last week. They have they got the opportunity against, well, two members of the firing squad. We don't know which yet. Next week. I'm not sure they're really bothered. They just want to level up the tag division, like they said. And they'll get their chance at Showcase of Champions. You can get your tickets for that. Excuse me. You can get your tickets for Showcase of Champions on the UK Wrestling app or at UKWrestling.tv. Come and join us Saturday night, June 24th in beautiful Batley. And come and witness every single championship in UKW on the line. Case and Riley and Evan Knight. Wow. I guess both these men in championship <laughs> action on that yes, night. Now, now Evan Knight gets his shot at Sedgwick. Joe Sedgwick, that is. He's quicker than a hiccup, is Knight. But he's braggadocious, cocky, and arrogant to go with it. Case and Riley, though. Oh, come on. I didn't disrespect him. I said he was talented. No, of course. And he is. There's no doubt about it. But his attitude... And again, you got it spot on by saying his attitude stinks. Those were your words. words but I'll you told the truth. As as as, you told the truth just as you always do, Mr. P. Oh! Case and Riley might be looking to get a quick victory. Mo Evan Knight slides out the back door. A golden opportunity for both men next weekend. This is for bragging rights and pride. Evan Knight slips out the back door and clobbers. Case and Riley, yes, I said clobbers. <laughs> Evan Knight's nimble. He's very, very quick. What's well, gonna be interesting is Evan Knight now more motivated knowing he that he's be. finally got that he rematch tag and not just a rematch, it's for like around the clock yeah, championship. Exactly. Evan here Knight right has his chance to get his first proper big singles title next week. And he knows full well that he's got a point to prove here against one of the hottest stars in UKW in Case and Riley. But you can see Case and Riley since forming level up with Brett Sedgwick, they've got this new persona, this new Indeed. energy here to him. Like yeah, exactly, they want to win everything now. Of course he does, but Evan Knight has other ideas. Is he going to face wash Riley like that? Not good if he Case and Riley. Evan Knight makes the cover. Oh, oh, crucifix reversal by Riley. Almost caught Evan Knight off guard there. This crowd firmly on the side of Case and Riley, but Evan Knight has other ideas. 
The night is awfully quick with those feet, Sid. I was going to say, and now, oh! agile and quick, like you say. He's stomped. Case and Riley's back in there, nearly caved it in. And now look at the disrespect by Evan Knight. I'm not sure that's the wisest thing to do. This is what I say. His attitude stinks. It's never going to change. I'm never going to be able to swap it. Yeah, but we saw the same thing. It reminds me a bit. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, Rough Riley. It reminds me a bit. Of you remember Joe Cedric's old attitude? Well, he thought he was better than everybody and like, better than, it you is, know. It's a different one because Joe was relying on, do you know who my dad is? Yeah. My dad owns Have a nice not got a relative he, in this building. He can't say I'm a second generation star True. on any claim there. But I'm saying about the hungry youngsters we have. Oh. Have a night, just might have got a tooth knocked out after that. And now he's got to, deposited on the top rope, but one step ahead with that foot again. Jumps off. Case and Riley catches him in midair. Oh, reverses it. Oh, wow. I'll see you at the crossroads, Sid. Is that it? Hooks the leg. Oh, oh not enough. Yeah. Not enough. Wow. Okay, so Riley means business now. He's took his top off. I know it's warm in I here. Say, it is warm <laughs> in here. We're uh, sweating at the desk and we're uh, not even in there. It is that warm tonight. And through that double underhook DDT, Evan Knight kicks him in the midsection and the back and the chest. And now Evan Knight back in control. Really is quick. And he's got Case and Riley rocking in the corner, flies in again here with that forearm. Evan Knight up to the middle rope might be looking to DDT Case and Riley here. Oh, and he hits it. Connects. Is this the moment? Is this it? Evan Knight needs to get over and make a cover if he can, but he doesn't. What's Evan Knight got in mind here, Sid? I don't know what he's thinking here. He's going to hamstring in. He's going to springboard in even. Oh, Case oh, for a DDT and Riley catches him. And there, the Case and Point. And Evan Knight might have just bitten off more than he can chew. Case and point proven. Here is your winner, Case and Riley! You said it before, Case and Riley wanted to make sure level up was 1-0 up tonight. And they and are! One for one for level up. Evan Knight stumbles out of the ring, he got caught. He took a bit too long, tried something smart and it backfired on him. But he still has that opportunity next week, Sid. He's got 10 days to regroup before he faces Joe Sedgwick. But we saw level up 1 0 tonight. Can Brett Sedgwick, oh my god, I don't know. Sheep Matoom's out of here. <laughs> What's Sheep Matoom doing? <laughs> Thank you.
Ten, I'm going to once again become a champion here at UK. I mean, I always say, if you don't want to be a champion, why are you not? Why are you here? I I, I, I've heard you say many a time. It's so true, though, isn't it? It is. If you're not here to become something, to become the top of somewhere, why are you in this industry? But was that a message to our current around the clock champion? It, it was your century. It here. was a message to every champion, to be honest. Well, it say, I would like to become that around the clock champion first before then saying I will take any other championship as well. And he'd want to be that champion for the 14th time <laughs> if he did it. <laughs> I'm uh, going to say that is some number to keep taking back. The Tonight's main event on Mayhem is to come soon. But don't forget Friday Night Showdown this week said, I've got the card here. It's Mustafa Khan back in action. On Friday night, after his return last week, he goes one on one with the silencer of the firing squad, Damian Black, on Friday night showdown. That will be immense. Cliff Harrison and the wild card, Tommy Dillon, one on one. I know he's going to be here how, on Friday. You've got to keep it calm. Whittled his way on to Friday. I don't know. Somebody must have got in the uh, the ear of Red Brocco there. <laughs> we'll also see women's tag team. Oh, is this right? Is this actually happening? Leonie Rose and Kirsty Love. No, as a team. how is that going to work? How the hell that is that going like, to happen? That is no, uh, no. They're, they're <laughs> going to have to try and coexist against Nisa and Ruby Bocco, two ladies we know very well here on Mayhem. And then also, it's the third time in a. Re- what is going on with Young Horace? Is he crazy? Hey, he he, he stole that victory last well, time. Well, we'll see. He goes one on one with Henry Winter one more time on Friday Night Showdown. Tonight's main event on Mayhem: Johan Hunt and Brett Sedgwick is on the way next. Stay right there. It is a sweltering Wednesday night here in Batley. It is the voice, Brett Hadley and Sid Phoenix, the general manager of Wednesday nights here at the desk. And do you know what time it is, Sid? It's already main event. That's flown by, hasn't it? It is. The fun. action flies by every Wednesday night here on Mayhem. And now it is time to see if Johan Hunt can really make a point here at the expense of Brett Sedgwick. Tonight's main event on Wednesday night Mayhem is a singles match. I'm not sure if Johan heard what Momentum said to us when he walked back after that. He might have heard. He'll have been going down them stairs laughing to yeah, himself exactly. and thinking, job done. <laughs> He's got another job to do here, though. Ah, his opponent. No one likes you. No one this crowd very vocal in their, uh, no their displeasure you. for Johan Hunt. <laughs> Giving him a rather unanimous no one likes you chant. But they do like this guy. Accompanied by the other half of Weather Luck, Case and Riley, he is the high flying right wire, Brett Sedgwick. Is it going to be 2 0 for Level Up here? We saw Case and Riley defeat Evan Knight a little bit earlier. And Level Up have the chance to make an emphatic statement ahead of their tag team title opportunity. A showcase of Champions comes your way Saturday night, June 24th, live from the UKW Arena in Batley. Get your tickets now at the UK Wrestling app or UKWrestling.tv and come down and see every single title in this company defended next Saturday night. Brett Sedgwick has the chance to get his first title you here in know UK. The firing squad is going to be watching. Oh, it. yes. We will see the firing squad on Friday Night Showdown this week. We'll see Damian Black uh, get his hands on Mustafa Khan. We'll also see Uther. Look, look at Johan, oh, he's quickly Johan. checked up here. Yeah, he's, he's, looking. he's looked Mom around, Hedman hasn't he? Yeah. Was anywhere in the building. Mm, I'd be careful if I was Johan Hunt, that's all I'm saying. 
Uh, yeah, we'll see also Uth get his chance at the Around the Clock Championship for Friday night against Jacob Reed, the new champion on Friday as well. So the firing squad will be here on Friday and then defending that title, the tag team titles next weekend. I mean, it's there, but we still don't know which two no. of the three bird room. It could be any two. It could be either Damon Crow, Uther, or Damian Black. But, but what are you comparing in mind here? I will be watching this match closely because obviously if Brett yes. Cedric can oh. do well or even pick up a victory here against the World TV Imagine champion. that. If Is he going to be the next one in line for a shot? Imagine maybe? if, yeah, Brett Cedric gets a huge... Maybe. Would it be fair to say this will be the biggest victory of Brett Cedric's career so far if he does defeat... Yeah, and it's not going to be easy. I'm going to say it's not going to be easy, but like you said, he probably. I'm going to say it probably would. Be. I think so. You know, yeah, it's a fair point. If Brett could be the television, cha he would do the television champion's morale and his cocky attitude no good whatsoever if he lost to Brett here. And levels up would just be on two nil up, and yeah. firing squad would be worried. Yeah, I would. If yeah. Oh. Cedric. And oh! Rebounds off the ropes and knocks Cedric down. Wow, he to, used again. his own momentum. Oh, <laughs> again, there. Smart television champion. Yeah, he might be he's cocky. showing us why he holds that title. Exactly this. Proving it's not just a coincidence that he won that ladder match at Rebound last month and became the television champion like so many others before him. But we know it's going to be a big crowd next weekend. The lights are going to be on bright. He's going to have to prove himself against momentum. I'm going to say he's got nowhere to hide that no. night. He can do none of these tactics. None he's of tried them. On. Beating somebody up after the match. Cedric reverses into a suplex and holds on. How nice is that flow over, Sid? Yeah. Oh. Mm. Beautiful. Cedric holds on. Has he got a victory? Oh. Oh. So close here. That was close. And Hun is going to roll out to higher ground on the outside. Cedric looks exasperated because he realised that Johan Hunt realised that he was in a, a bad spot there. And Johan does have the experience advantage in these two, obviously. Johan, and obviously Johan has been what Brett Cedric aspires to be. Johan has been tag team champion before, more than once. Oh. Oof. But he's using the barricade and then into the ring post here. Yeah, using all the ringside surroundings as his friend, probably the only friend he's going to get in here tonight. I guess it was Brett a bit naive there going maybe. out following the champion. Yeah, maybe he was fainted out, but now Johan's holding his belt up in the air. This is not for the television championship, of course. But it's still Johan needs to prove why he is the champ again. Oh, works on the arm of Cedric there. And again, Johan Hunt's got Cedric trapped up. Oh, this is this looks painful, Sid. I was gonna say he's got that in like a hammerlock hole. Showboating whilst he was doing it, and now look at this. Oh. Bending him up like a pretzel here. Oh, I'm hammering away on Cedric, who has nowhere to go. This crowd trying to get on the side of the younger Cedric here. Wrestling in his blood since the day he was born, but... His, his agility has been taken away by the television, sorry, the world television champion. Got to get it right. And now Brett Cedric picks up. You're not, but he struggles, Sid. He struggles, I got caught. Look at that roll oh, through wow. into that Boston Crab. How beautiful I is that? I have to say I'm impressed. I know yeah. I'm meant to be in pasture, but wow. He rolls through beautifully. And he's got Cedric caught. Cedric trying to get to the ropes, and he does. Just in the nick of time. Referee Danny gets Johan Hunt just off in the nick of time. I guess he made sure he used all that count as yeah, much he as knows. he could. He knew how long he had. Well, what a transition that was by Johan Hunt, who now might be looking to position Brett Sedgwick over those ropes. We know he likes to do the Wolf or Nine and that dangerous phantom stomp that we saw last week. Big Bulldog out the corner there. Johan Hunt floats over, hooks the leg, and gets two and a half. Still life in the, the uh, high flying live wire. Brett Cedric is our main event, rolls on a Wednesday night mayhem. Cedric creates some separation. Comes back to the clothesline. Is this, is this, is this, is yeah, is it like a turning point? 
Cedric flies in the corner. Has he got it? Has he got something going here? So he's going for that high oh, risk. He likes going up to the top rope. We like to see him up there. He likes to do splashes, flips, all sorts up there. He's perched up. And there is the big oh, splash for high. Is this, is this it? Is Cedric good? Oh. He was half a second away from beating. He was millimetres there. That splash off that top rope. Did you see the height he got on that splash as well, Sid? He flew like an eagle. I can see you can see the focus on his face at the hat when he got to the top. Oh, he's got Johan caught in a cross race here. He's trying to wrestle him down. Johan's caught. I mean, what a statement this would be. Oh, but Johan Hunt has got him caught. Cedric has to free himself to save himself, and now the saw the wolf blade. Oh, yeah. Has that just changed the game? I here. think it might have, that Sid. Wolf blade out of the Johan Hunt says, I've had enough of this, oh. and he's setting him up here for that Yo, danger. Oh, there is no yeah. way he feared it. We said he was going to have to watch his back, Sid. No oh. mention swore revenge earlier. Oh, but what's oh. the ring from behind? Cedric caught him and wins! Cedric beat Johan Hunt oh. and momentum didn't even come out! Oh, wow! Here is your winner! The high-flying live-wire, Brad Cedric! Johan Hunt is absolutely... Oh, look at how it comes out! There is momentum with the biggest grin on his face! And you know what? That was up in production the whole time. He didn't have to do a damn thing. He just he pressed the button and here we see it. What he was oh. doing here. Is momentum he was congratulates like Brett Sedgwick. And now Momentum heads into the ring to face off with a man he wants to take that television championship from in 10 nights time and look at this scene look at this stand up nose to nose face to face but now Johan Hunt still has possession of that world television championship